Hello Cancer and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. Um, I am here to do your collective love read. Hold on a second, potato wants out. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I'm here to do your collective love reading, Cancer. <laughs> um, it's probably going to be for like through the weekend. Okay, let's just say through the weekend. Um, so this is for the collective. That means it's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's okay. Don't panic. <laughs> just click off and visit another reader on YouTube. There's plenty of great ones. If in fact it does resonate with you, um, please like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, I'm really appreciating everybody's support. Half of all of my views were also shares. It's unbelievable how much you guys are supporting me. I, I'm so grateful for all of you. Um, and this channel is for adults only, right? Uh, there's also a link to follow at the bottom of the description box if anybody's interested. And thank you very much for all your donations as well. Um, all right, the song. I have to, I have to look at the name of it because I only hear, um, bits and pieces of things and I don't, I, unless I recognize it from like a musical, like, like the last reading or something like that you know but this one I didn't know so it's um the distance by cake it's called the distance she's going or he's going the distance see when I I thought it said she's going the, the distance because I was only picking up certain um certain words, uh, certain lyrics, not not so much the going the distance part, but there were other things in there as well. And, I, it, you know, I had to listen to the song again. My daughter told me what it was called because <laughs> I had no idea. So I listened to the song with the lyrics, okay, on YouTube. And um, it actually is almost like w um, watching a tarot card reading, okay, because you've got somebody um walking away with a cup okay that's the cup of love so people have been walking away from from this love situation okay and there was something about what was ah uh, shoot i can't remember now um oh i can't remember but there's cards involved like the cards that we read for everybody like this is an actual tarot card reading and it almost sounds like it's part of the twin flame journey but it's definitely part of the storyline that's been going on in nearly everyone's signs okay across the board this is it's just that time okay Lionsgate portal it's um it's twin flame Divine Masculine's got to start stepping up his game and learning this stuff or, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, it's the storyline for almost everybody straight across the board. Okay. As a tarot card reader, I'm telling you, it's really starting to get frustrating. Like it's frustrating because it's the same. Oh, never mind. You guys know how I feel already about this. Okay. So let's just get started. I love you all so much. <laughs> it's been a weird, freaky night. Okay. Divine, what can you tell us? What messages do you have for cancer? What's coming towards cancer? And no reversals, please. I don't start out with reversals, guys. So not unless they absolutely scream on me. I'm not taking them, but somebody is tra completely trapped in their mind here, Cancer, either you or your person. And I also saw the Chariot card stands for Cancer, so I think somebody's trapped in their mind about their Cancer. You may want to start some forward movement, very, very quick, fast forward movement. 
And you know, it, that goes along with the song too. Um, what did I say the name was? Oh shoot, what did I say it was? The Distance by Cake. So everybody look it up because honestly, the song, when I, I, the words that I was hearing that they were showing me in my mind, um, those were intense enough. And then I, I, I listened to the actual song though, and I'm like, holy shit. Seriously, it's, it was like a what in the crap. I mean, it's almost like, I don't know, they've got some, some extra sensory abilities here, the people who wrote that song, because it's like the exactly what's going on with divine masculines right now, pretty much. At least those who are worthy of being divine masculines, I guess. I mean, those who are about to start doing the work on themselves and figuring out what's going to make them happy and this and that. But back to you, Cancer. Okay, um, so anyway, you're being watched. You're being watched. This is like the I spy with my little eye. This is, this is also, look at the look on this kid's face, okay? This is immature energy to me, meaning it's not a king. They, they're, they're not confident. They haven't really learned, they haven't bossed up. Okay, Cancer, they haven't bossed up yet. Um, but this is somebody who um, really has something to say, but they're holding back from saying it, okay? They're not talking, they're not talking, but they certainly are watching. And by the look on this kid's face here, is they may not be real happy about what they're seeing. You could also be dealing with an air sign, Cancer. But someone is definitely watching you watching you watching you and they have something to say but they're holding back right here you are cancer so there's a lot that they don't know of yet there's a lot that hasn't been brought to the surface yet there's a lot that's still hidden in the shadows change is coming though you could also be dealing with another cancer or pisces um but this is a not having all the information and things kind of being a mystery sort of card. I also see it as a change coming kind of card. So I believe that change is coming in love for you, certainly, but I believe that this person is watching you here and they are in love with you. They know this is a soulmate union, or I mean a soulmate connection. Why did I just say union? You guys could be having a union. Um, but they know this is a soulmate connection here. Um, two people being on the same page, right? Um, feeling extremely comfortable with each other. This is, this is love. Um, there's just a lot that is hidden. At, but this person's watching to try to figure out what, you know, what's going on with this love. I think they're seeing if you're with somebody else, perhaps. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting cancer. Um... I'm not going to take these, but th that was a weird thing that just happened. Yeah, the, here's that chariot card. Somebody has made a decision, but the, these waters are really choppy, and they're they're waiting for their ships to come in. Why? Do, I'm just hearing they're waiting for someone to come in. That's what I'm saying, or that's what I'm hearing. Oof. They know there's been a completion or there has been a completion, possibly with the Queen of Pentacles, which is somebody that they may have been committed to. She's usually, I see, as a committed person. Perhaps that, that's coming to an end. Um, what else do you have for Cancer in love? Do the weekend. Could be dealing with an earth sign. This is, see, this is somebody who has bossed up. This is somebody who has their finances totally in check. This is somebody who could be a boss. This is somebody who's grounded, stable. This person's all about stability. Okay, they may also want to offer you something stable. Okay, or you could be dealing with an earth sign as well, like I said. 
What about this king? What about this king of pentacles, divine? He may have a little bit of fire in him. Okay. He could be perhaps a Leo Virgo cusp or um, this is too many cards, but they may want a reunitement here. And this is also a, um, somewhat of a twin flame journey card. I'm not going to take them all. This is somebody who was selfish in the past. Could be a possible Pisces. They, they want true love now. Once again, we have that Cancer card is showing up. Oh boy. But they may be in a commitment, but this is under judgment as well. Okay, judgment. Or you could be making a judgment call on this Cancer. Or they could be making a judgment call on someone who they're committed with. That's too many cards, Divine. That's way too many. Just one on the King of Pentacles, please. Yeah, I decided to just kind of wing it. Usually I, I um, pull a few cards, you know, to get the feel for your energy and everything. And then I start the video. But tonight I'm just like, eh. I'll just wing it tonight. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please. For cancer. All right, hold on. I got to get the hair out of my face. All right. That's too many. What's the deal with the King of Pentacles here? Why is he here? Maybe he doesn't want to talk. You might not be talking with this person, Cancer. It doesn't seem like they want to say how they feel they're trying to be strong here perhaps have full control over the situation and their emotions right um I'm all wrapped up with sorry that could be how they're feeling too just can't quite get everything straightened out here <laughs> that's how I'm feeling I don't know what the deal is with me tonight. I was fine. I watched movies with my kids and their father, which is a little odd. But yeah, it was a weird night, but I haven't been like tongue-tied. Tonight I'm tongue-tied now that I started your video. So I'm feeling that they don't really want to discuss how they feel. They don't want to discuss their emotions. You know, earth signs, if this is an earth sign, this this is a pentacle. Pentacles are very logical thinkers. They're very grounded. They're very stable. But they, they're not, you know, they're not emotional or they're not really going to show it. They're kind of up in their mind about things, right? They, they overthink things, but they're, they are very logically minded. Okay, and this person is just trying to control their emotions, could possibly even be controlling here with this strength card. You could be strong too. You could be, this could be you as well. But I'm also seeing this as a Leo here. Like I said, they could be on the cusp of a Leo and Virgo. Yeah. You know, I see the Ten of Cups as a, as a total abundance card. This is a completion of a cycle, but, I, you know, because tens are completions, but this is like as many cups as you can get. And everything is happy and everything is beautiful. The weather is perfect. There's abundance. There's love. There's happiness. There's people coming together. The only problem is, is that I see too many women in this card. There's two women here. And normally... Normally in the Ten of Cups, you see like a happy family, you know, you see a happy family, but we have two women here. Having a discussion. I wonder if maybe you're going to be having a discussion with someone now that I mentioned that. Let's see. What's up with the Ten of Cups? Why is the Ten of Cups here? This is a very confusing one. 
I feel like neither one of you are speaking either. She doesn't speak normally. She has control over um, over this beast and the beast within and the situation. Like she leads this beast, you know. And she doesn't speak. She holds her head up high and she's all right with that because she's all about being strong. And this guy's not talking either. So, you know, I'm really kind of more seeing this as here's this King of Pentacles not speaking, but, um, you know, they, they have love here. They, and they know that this is a... Um, this is a soulmate connection. They know how powerful of a connection this is. But you guys aren't speaking. And he's just overthinking things. Pentacles also move very, very slowly. Or you could be dealing with... Um, you could be dealing with any earth sign. Or you could be dealing with a Leo Virgo cusp. But I'm also seeing the strength as you, Cancer, being strong. You know, I just see this as a Cancer woman and an Earth sign man. That's what I'm seeing here, actually, mainly. But somewhere in this, this person may even feel like they want to keep both. Like both, both of these women make them perfectly happy and they feel abundant with both of them. You know, the, I feel like there's another person involved here. And like I said before, seeing the cards in the shuffle, they may be committed to the Queen of Pentacles. That's the one I saw. And this is the King. Yeah, I believe that, that one woman is for home and the other woman also stands for home, only a home feeling in the heart. One, one woman is a home feeling in the heart. And one woman is really at the home. And I believe these both of these people are important to this person. But, yeah, no, Cancer's, I don't feel like Cancer's going to be dealing with that. You know, I mean, she's like, uh, no. This is you, Cancer, I think. This is you. Yeah, and right underneath you, walking away. Walking away from this. Yeah, this is you walking away. And somebody's overthinking it. Yeah, look at that on the bottom of the deck. Third party situation. Three of Swords. Somebody is in heartbreak over this, or it's caused a lot of heartbreak. I believe there's two people here involved. Mm hmm. Or were involved. But someone's walking away. I And this kind of fell in. It's right underneath this. I'm going to leave it as your central focus because it kind of wants to be there. The fact that you're walking away or the fact that, you know, it could be your person, too. I'm seeing a man here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to that one. That was just too many. But this one is like, I picked it up and want to put it back. And they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, so we got to hang on to this one. This is the High Priestess. I also see Cancer in this as well. Water signs. Um, Gemini. But the High Priestess is... She knows the secrets, like, I, and she's the most intuitive card in the deck, okay? She's the most intuitive person in the deck. And she is the keeper of secrets for the, the Pope in the deck, which is the higher font, okay? Um, that means that she's going to know with her... She's so intuitive. Her highly intuitive mind... Um, any secrets, lies, or deception. This could also stand for secrets, lies, and deception, but she's going to know what it is, all right? I think somebody already did know what it was. She She's intuitive. She sees that she needs to be... St this is you, Cancer. You see that you need to be strong against this this King of Cups who really isn't doing or saying much. He's just... You know, he remember, he's holding back from saying something and he's watching you. This is person here is watching you, okay, Cancer? Because they are in love with you. But they don't know what the frick is going on, okay? Because you guys are not speaking, okay? And he, this dude, um, 
the earth sign, he's going to overthink and overthink and overthink and they sit there at this throne for long periods of time, okay? And they're very slow about their thinking process, okay? Because they have to run through it over and over and over and over again. Meanwhile, you know, you're standing up kind of against that kind of against that even though you guys aren't talking and you're not really around each other okay because somebody walked away okay or someone is walking away um even though you're standing up to him and to this situation and you're like i'm gonna be strong i'm gonna have control of my emotions i'm gonna i'm gonna lead my own shit here okay lead lead my own shit like you are going to be in control of your life now and you're like standing up against this like you're moving too slow you're overthinking i mean i can just hear her like thinking that but she's getting ready to walk right past him okay and i believe you and someone else that he's committed to he i think there's love for both of you I really do. I think there's love there for both of you. Um, you know, if this is another person involved and this is a third party situation, I really believe that he sees some kind of abundance in both of you, maybe in separate rate, in separate ways and for separate reasons, for different reasons, you know. I mean, like, say one is, is the baby's mom and one is not, okay? Well, you're going to have love feelings for that baby's mom because they're just instinctively set there. Or maybe this person's been with somebody for so long and you're newer and, I mean, I don't know what your story is. It could be anything. All I'm saying is for different reasons, I think this person sees you both being abundant both of these women both of the women okay does that make sense jeez but you you know this though because you're the high priestess you have that intuition and i believe that you already know you know here look at look at the stars all around her here and the stars are just leading her pointing her in a in a specific direction I think you know that this person really has has feelings for both of these women but you know you can't have them both and cancer you're standing strong and and you're walking away from this cups knocked over and all there may be some there's there's cups standing there's still love here there's still love here but this woman here, Cancer, you don't compete. You don't compete. And you shouldn't. You should be strong for yourself and stand up to that. And you know what the secrets are. You know that you, you're using your intuition and you're walking away, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You're using your intuition and you're walking away. All right. Clarify the High Priestess for me, please. For cancer we had an enormous storm tonight holy cow the town is flooded it was great I love storms man by the high priestess there we go the star you could be dealing with an Aquarius but the star is all about um, having faith having hope making a wish Healing yourself, finding balance, using your intuition, intuition, you know, but you're having faith in the knowledge that you have. And I believe you're going to walk away from this because there's so much stagnancy and no communication for too long, for too long. Your signs, pentacles, they take their time and they take usually too much, too much time. They just take too much time. But this person's angry watching you. They know that they are in love with you or you they could have seen you starting something with someone new. I don't know. Use your intuition. And you have faith. 
you know, I, you, this is making a wish. Perhaps for something new even. Because right after that you walk away. I think you're really, you're really wanting something fresh. You just really, honestly, I think your main wish here, Cancer, is that you just don't want to be in a third party situation anymore and with this kind of knocked over, tipped over, thrown away love kind of feeling. I feel like it's not so much that you you have someone new, it's not so much that you're looking for someone new. I think you're hopeful and you're making wishes now that are new and different, okay? But I think the main wish that you're making is that you are just not in this stagnant, heartbroken, third party situation energy anymore. You, you just want out. You want it, you want it, you want out. Especially since this, these cups are not being uprighted. They're not being righted. You know, nothing's getting worked on. No one's speaking. Even though this is a soulmate connection and everyone knows that that's an important, that's an important connection. But this person, Cancer, you don't, you and the High Priestess, whoo, no, you're not going to settle and you're not going to um, compromise. You're not going to be in a third party situation. So you're walking away. Someone's feeling very, very nostalgic now that you've walked away. Once again, could be dealing with a Leo. But this is a person from your past. This is a person who may want to come back. You know, there's the star sign here. This is a person who may be having a little bit of faith that they can... Hi, Cancer. Sorry. I can't believe how long my videos are. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> Dumb. All right. So, um, yeah. Anyway, this is a, this person from your past here. Um, they're feeling very nostalgic now. They're missing you, Cancer. Okay? Um, you felt like home to them. You felt like home. They were very comfortable. Maybe you guys have known each other for since childhood. There could be children involved in this as well. Um, it could be somebody you've known for years. It could have been somebody who was a friend. But this is somebody who's feeling nostalgic because you walked away. What else can you show us there? That's too many. They may be obsessed. They may be stuck in a situation or a relationship that no longer serves them. They may have an addiction. Because I saw the devil card. It just popped out, but I didn't take it because it didn't actually come out out. Under the Ten of Cups, what do you have for me for Under the Ten of Cups? For Cancer, in love. Under the Ten of Cups, what do you have for me for Cancer, in love? I'm feeling very uptight tonight. Like, yeah, there's the devil again. Okay, so I just saw the devil. Like I said, they could be bound in a situation that no longer serves them, okay? So, like, a situation that's at this point working against them, but it's not making, it's not making them fulfilled in any way, okay? Um, they could have an addiction. That could be anything that somebody does too much of. So could be drinking, partying, smoking, it could be drugs, it could be women, it could be sex. I don't know why, but I'm feeling sex in here this time. I don't know. It could be an obsession, it could be an anger issue. You know, I'm supposed to turn it upside down. 
it, it came out in reverse this emperor and usually I don't take reversals but unless they tell me to and they told me to to take it just how it is which is really not a good sign for this person and I didn't want to do that <laughs> but they told me to take it in reverse so I'm gonna take it in reverse um, so the emperor in reverse okay this is this could be somebody who's extremely extremely freaking pissed off yeah well I don't like that energy at all that's somebody who's extremely extremely pissed off just and I see the Emperor also as being very narcissistic is it because somebody walked away They're wanting a reunion they're waiting this is someone who waits to this is someone I believe they're very obsessed and pissed off but I usually see this as um, she flips into the Empress okay in like two more hands right now she's very underestimated so this person may feel underestimated or this could be you because they want this reunitement here with you know yeah somebody that they completely trashed yeah um, she is pre-empress and now here we are with the empress you could be um in the queen of wands energy too which is taking action going after what you want with a passion and that's pretty much what you're doing here with your um high priestess card and the eight of cups but i'm not going to take these because that's way too many Clarify the Emperor in reverse. I hope this is making sense to somebody because this makes like no sense to me at all tonight. All I can hear is that song. All I can hear is that song. And, and the words, which are really kind of... I can see the devil energy matching up with that song, by the way in this spread all because somebody left with the cup thinking of someone for whom he still burns dunna, dunna, dunna. he's going the distance he's going for speed she's all alone all alone all alone what's this one yeah, but I feel like somebody has deception, deceptive energy here, okay? But what I'm hearing when I pull out this card, quite honestly, is that they want to sneak back in. They want to sneak back in. What they do when they're back in, I don't know if it matches the card, though. That's thieving and is pre-planning that. This is weird. I wasn't expecting it to go this, um, like, choppy. What else can you show us? The High Priestess again. Yeah, you, the lies, secret, secrets, lies, and deception, but the High Priestess knows them. She's not saying anything. She doesn't need to say anything. She's communicating with the Divine. She gets messages. She's highly intuitive, very spiritual, the keeper of the secrets, and also the Cancer. This is Cancer. This is your card. Like I said, you are the High Priestess. You are the High Priestess. You know you can sense this person. This person wants this reunitement, knows that they underestimated you. They're getting the song that song um something about going for someone for whom they still burn dunna, dunna, dunna. he's going the distance he's going for speed yeah that's they're burning up inside they're not happy i feel like they may even feel like they've been cheated
Justice, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they Yeah. Justice is here. I feel like they cheated themselves, basically. Because of because of a third party situation. This is what I'm I'm okay. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please. I feel like somebody spoke to them. We're talking to them about this. I feel like they. I feel like they they were committed, and they. But they they. they you both hold importance for them. And they're they kind of fried themselves over this thing is and now they're pissed off perhaps <laughs> this is what I'm getting but you know they're being nostalgic because they know you walked away um, yeah watching you Learning three of pentacles here. One, two, three. This was a third party situation. This is putting in work though. They may want to put work into this. But it's come to a completion. It's come to a completion with the justice card here. Ooh, Ooh yeah. The, oh, the lover's card. Yeah. And what's crossing it is that the fact that they're giving to someone else. It crossed the lover's card that came out. I'm not going to take them, though, because that's too many. Sorry, I'm not going to take them. That's too many. What else can you show me? Yeah, they know that this is a twin. Why? I, I, I was just going to say twin flame. It could very well be a twin flame soulmate connection. It's definitely a soulmate connection. That's strong enough. Um... Yeah, they want to come in and uh, okay. So remember when? Hold on, I'm I'm overheating. Hold on, just a second. I had to turn on the fan. Cancer. I'm dying here. Okay. Remember, remember when I said um, that that the pentacles are really really slow moving. Okay. They're really slow moving, and this is the guy, because they think logical. They have to plan everything out, overthink everything, and meanwhile, they're just kind of barely moving, okay? This person is also very guarded, but this um, Knight of Pentacles, he comes in to offer some something stable. And the thing with the King of Pentacles is, is he is the slowest moving, um, I'm sorry, King, did I say King? King of Pentacles, I guess, apparently is slow moving too, but the Knight of Pentacles here is the slowest moving knight in the deck, but, but he offers stability, something stable, something grounded, something real, okay, and something that holds some kind of decency, all right, um, and he, yeah, he moves slow with it, but this is literally the only, the only knight the only knight in out of all the knights who actually makes it to the finish line he actually comes through the other ones you can't really count on him he's the most reliable one so I really believe that this person wants to come in and offer you something stable we already know they want a reunitement with you but I think they're angry because Oh, I don't know. They're they're getting justice in this though. They're getting justice. But they're pissed they're not happy about it. They're kind of pissed off about everything that happened. I see them being angry here. Like really angry. Like really angry. At least this is for the person that I'm dealing for or, or reading for. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Yep, somebody's left out in the cold. Yeah, Seven of Swords. This is someone from your past who wants to come back in, wants to steal their way back into your heart, okay? Someone from your past, they feel like home with you. 
They're also feeling very nostalgic. Um, children could be involved here as well. They could be a baby, a baby daddy, a, a, a baby mama, right? But this is someone also who has deceptive energy. They're deceiving. They make plans to come back and steal. Take from you something, whether it's, I mean, it doesn't have to be money or items. It can be energy. It can be your love. It could be your heart. It's deceptive, though. This is lies and deception and planning and plotting. Okay? And it's a person from your past that you that you've already been with or oh and look what's flipped up in the deck is five of pentacles this is out of place in the deck it's flipped upside down someone's tired of being left out in the cold or this is someone who feels left out in the cold cancer i really don't feel like this is you here's what i'm feeling cancers for cancer women out there i really feel like this is a masculine energy Okay, because of the lyrics of the song. Now, if you listen to the song, which is, what is it again? The Distance by Cake. Okay, look up the lyrics to The, the Distance by Cake. It's really, a, I believe this is a masculine energy coming through, really wanting to come to their cancer, or it could be anybody, but in your reading, yeah, come to your their cancer, and they're really upset I don't know, I, I'm, there's a whole lot of reasons here why they're upset what, from what the divine is showing me. They know this has come to a completion, but they want a reunitement. And, the, and that's the justice in this because of the third party situation. They juggled too many, too many people here, but they do want to put work into this. They do want to work on this, Eight of Pentacles. They do want to work on this. So they're coming. They're just coming really slow. They're coming. They're just coming really slow. Um, and look on the bottom of the deck. Regret. Remorse. Sadness. Heartbreak. Missing somebody. Guilt. Regret. This is regret. You know, but if they only knew, their Two of Cups is right behind them. There's their Two of Cups right there. There it is. Their Two of Cups is right behind them. They just got to get up. Right? Yeah. At least that's what I'm seeing. But they're, they're, they, they just, I just really think that they sat for too long. But they're having regrets now. They're having regrets. And it looks like they're coming in. They want to make a stable offer as a knight. As a knight. Okay, they want to make a stable offer as a knight. But that offer just is, it just takes too long. It's taken too long. It's taken too long. You, you walked away, Cancer. You, you found your strength. You said you stood up to this guy. You said, no, that's not good enough for me. I'm sorry, that doesn't work for me. But having my heart broken does not work for me anymore. And you walked away from this person from your past. Now they're feeling very nostalgic. You, you know exactly what it is that you had to do. You knew what you had to do. And you're having faith. Because you listen to your messages, you listen to your intuition, and you have faith that the divine is going to guide you to a beautiful path. You're healing yourself. You're finding your balance. You're doing pretty good here, Cancer, but somebody else is going the distance. He's going for speed. I, you know what, but he's yet he's the slowest moving night in the day. <laughs> Lowest moving night in the deck. Yeah, you're saying see ya. You're saying bye. 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 Look at my hand. Bye bye. Bye bye. Because you want something stable. Okay, now this is a this is a good relationship here. This is somebody who lifts you up and doesn't put you down. This is somebody who makes you smile. They don't make you cry. 
This is someone who's actually there for you. This is somebody who, if something happened, they'd go back and get you, or they'd pick you up and bring them. They would take care of you. They would, you know, they're not going to let you just, they're not going to leave you for dead, dude. Okay? This is somebody who is just strong like a rock. This is, these two here, they're joined at the hip. They have a perfect giving, loving, trusting, nurturing, protecting, and guiding kind of supportive relationship. And that's, you're saying bye, I'm going to go find that. You're saying bye, I'm going for that. Yep. What else do you have for cancer? What advice? What advice do you have for cancer? Yeah, you're like, bye. Because there wasn't anything being given to you except confusion or competition. There may have been competition. I don't know. But, you know, there were just, there was too many people involved in this. Too many. They may have been listening to friends. There may have been gossip, too, about one of you. See these geese? Geese are always squawking. Yeah. They could have received advice about you, yeah, but you're off to write something more permanent here. You don't need in and out energy, okay? You need something permanent, and you want... You want the you want a decent, supportive, healthy relationship that's loving and nurturing, and you want it to freaking be permanent this time. So you know what? You're not gonna find it here. You're walking away and you're waving bye bye. Cancer. Right? Just a couple more cards for my cancers. I'm sorry my videos are so long. Yeah. Hmm. Cancer, something new could come your way and you could be extremely surprised by this. I'm seeing this as a brand new book right now. Look at, look at, it is a brand new book. It's got like gold on it. I don't think this book's ever been touched. It looks absolutely perfect to me. I think someone is, something is coming your way and you guys are going to completely match your energy is going, going to complete, look at same color hair, black, black, green, green, brand new book, your surprise, something new is coming for you, Cancer, and it's going to be a perfect match for you, and you are going to be completely freaking blown away. This new thing is going to completely match you and you're going to completely be blown away by this. <laughs> oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you see what I'm seeing here? The colors and this is going to be your match cancer that's coming to you soon. What else can you show me? This is your match cancer. Oh man, yep. They are going to teach you how to have fun again. They're going to teach you how to live again. They are going to teach you how to freaking live again. Cancer. <gasps> you guys are going to write some colorful, wonderful stories. Oh, because All because you turned your back on a crappy situation. Since you turned your back on that nasty situation that you were put in, now... Something new is coming in for you that's going to be supportive and permanent and your absolute match and it's going to surprise the shit out of you when it comes in because you're not expecting it. You're not expecting it. But this person is going to be teaching you how to live again. You're going to be getting out. You're going to be having fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody's out talking about you, too. They're talking about you. 
somebody's talking about you. Yep, communication could be coming in. I just saw that card. Any more? Ah. Ah. Yeah, but you might have to... In order to get this, you might have to kind of be someplace where you don't really... It's not going to be a painful situation. It's just going to be... It's not somewhere you want to be, is the school office. Like, it's boring. You don't want to be there. You really don't want to go there. You know what I mean? You don't want to hang out at the school office. So, you you know, this may be an energy right now that... Because this is going to happen, I believe, when you least expect it. So it may take a little while. But as soon as you walk away or get out of energy that doesn't serve you anymore... It, be in an energy. Remember when we first started, I said you just don't want to be in that kind of energy anymore, right? That's this. As soon as you get out of this and you step away from the third party situation crap, okay? Um, that's get it, that is getting out of this nasty energy, okay? And as soon as you do that, this, this, perfect match I'm telling you a new new this is someone new and it's it's a it's brand new and it's a perfect match to you it's a perfect match and you're like what yeah did I hit the lottery yeah but you have to turn your back on on that energy that's keeping you kind of stuck right it's keeping you stuck. You may be wanting justice in this, you know? But, you know, Cancer, this can be your justice. This new person here. Because this new person looks absolutely perfect for you. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna teach you how to have fun again. They're gonna teach you how to live again. You may be teaching each other how to live again. This could be a healing and learning thing for both of you. And it's going to be a whole brand new beautiful path, Cancer. Oh, Cancer, it's coming. Someone does want to fix this, though. They do want to fix it with you. Jeez, Cancer, I wonder how much of that video that I lost because I didn't realize that my camera died. Okay, so I hope... I didn't lose half of this, but listen, let's recap, okay? Because this is really, really awesome, all right? So once you walk away from that energy that we were talking about in the beginning, right? That you just don't want to be in this energy anymore. You don't want to be lingering, thinking about this stuff all the time. You don't want to, you know, whatever it is for you, right? The heck? My kids are like freaking out upstairs. So anyway, you just don't want to linger in this anymore, right? As soon as you turn your back from that energy in a situation you don't want to be in, look what comes in for you. See, you wave goodbye here because you know what? You're looking for that. It's just such an awesome, supportive, loving, nurturing, caring, protective kind of relationship here and you want something permanent like that you want it permanent fuck this shit you want something permanent and you want it to be good okay cancer yeah so you're saying see ya i'm going after my wish fulfillment okay i'm setting these cards aside sorry i'll set them over here for you somebody does want to fix this by the way but whoever it is that wants to fix this from the past, they're living in a freaking bathroom stall right now. Not, maybe not technically, okay? But I mean, they're lingering in shit energy. They're lingering in a place that's... Who wants to be in a bathroom stall every day? They're, it's almost like, what I'm trying to say is their life has kind of turned to crap. And they're lingering in it. Okay? But they want to fix it with you. But... You're saying bye. You're saying bye. You're turning your back on this because it's it's nowhere where you want to hang out, okay? 
So you're going to have a new path, a new beautiful path. And guess what? Something new is coming in for you. And look at this, Cancer. You guys are a perfect match. Black hair, black green green you're a perfect match and it's so perfect as a matter of fact cancer you guys jive so freaking well you are going to be so surprised you're going to be so surprised at how great of a connection this is and this is somebody who is brand spanking new brand new brand new not the person from your past this person is brand new okay brand new and you're going to, I mean, your life is going to turn so colorful because this person is going to teach you how to feel alive again. All right, they're going to teach you how to feel alive again, Cancer. And that surprises the crap out of you because nobody's ever done that for you before. You're a Cancer. You do that for everybody else, but people don't feed you. But you know what? This time this person is, and you're going to be going down a brand new beautiful path, Cancer. Brand new beautiful path. While someone else who wants to fix this, look at, they have a matching set too. Blue. Blue. The person who wants to fix this with you, Cancer, this is their match. They get to sit in this bathroom stall amongst the shit. And only think about how much they want to fix it. Yep, it's going to make them sick. It's going to make them sick. All right, and, oh yeah, I don't know, you may have missed this one, but they have serious regrets. I don't know when I lost you guys. They have serious regrets about this. Because here's where they are. This is their match. The fact that they want to fix it because they're... And this is going to be your match, Cancer. With a matching pen as well. To make it permanent. Alright, Cancer. I really hope I didn't lose all of that video. I really hope you guys stick with me. Um, look, I love you guys. And I hope that resonated with someone. I'm pretty sure it will. It was kind of choppy, but you know what? Here's the thing. The main part about this reading, honestly, I think, is that freaking song. It's still in my head. The Distance by Cake. I can't for the life of me remember the name of it, but it's in my head. And if you, if you do anything right now, after the video or something, click on that song, look it up on YouTube and, and read the lyrics as well. That's what's going on in your person's mind. Yay. If you want to know how they feel, that's it. That's it. Just kind of read between the lines, okay? When you listen to the lyrics, you know. But anyway, yeah, they're running out of time and um, they, took too, they took too much time listen to the lyrics anyway i gotta go cancer i love you okay i want you to have a great weekend and i'll be back with you in a few days okay until then take care of you and peace out